Fellas, fellas, fellas. Yes, yes, yes. How you feeling, man? I'm um, getting better. Getting better. Um, see the doctor every day, so can't wait to get back out there. Since we haven't talked to you, can you describe what happened? Well, it's Christmas time. We was enjoying Christmas and coming home, and one minute I'm about to walk into my house, and then the next minute. I'm, I wake up and my, and my wife is um is asking me, you know, are you all right? And I ain't, for a second I didn't know who she was. And then um and then after that I didn't know I was in L.A. And then I didn't know we had a game. And she had to explain that we had a game. And I just came from a game. And we lost by 20. And the first person I called, uh, well, I text Kobe and said, I can't remember nothing. And, uh, you know, I'm going to the hospital. Did you just pass you downstairs? Is that that's the report that we are doing? Yes. Yeah. Christmas, but Christmas boxes. I I can't remember everything. Um, it was for Christmas, you know, bringing us some presents, and um, and um, I can't remember it much in between there. I just know my, my wife said I was asleep for like two three minutes. Um, obviously I don't remember that part. And um, and I was just, I went to the hospital and it took me about an hour to just to get my senses back a little bit, you know, and. Uh, and I just, um, and that was it. Has anything like this ever happened to you before? No, never. Never. And it was, um, I didn't feel it. That's the scary part. You know, I didn't feel it. And, um, but it never happened. But, uh, getting better, I'm still a little woozy at times, you know. Um, so it's definitely not safe probably right now to be playing. What has the doctor said about the return? Hopefully, uh, hopefully really soon. I can't wait to get back. You know, uh, I'm glad I'm walking, and you know I got a, some, some staples in the back of my head, and you know some stitches in my elbow. But <clears throat> I'm walking. I'm grateful to be walking, and I don't know how bad it could have been, but I'm definitely grateful to be uh, able to be up and talking, and uh, and uh, even having the possibility of being back pretty soon. So I'm happy about that. Brian, just to clarify, did, did you did you fall down the stairs and then kind of pass out, or did you? get dizzy and pass out and then fall down the stairs? No, I, I passed. tell you what, exactly what happened? Well, she, she wasn't there. She woke me up. Right. <laughs> I was coming in the house. And then she woke me up and said, oh, you're right, basically. Um, but um, I can't really remember much. <laughs> but I passed out from the hit. It wasn't, I didn't pass out on the way down. I passed out from the hit. So, Ron, how many flights of stairs did you fall down and do you have any residual pain from the fall? No, I'm, I'm pretty good. I can't remember exactly how many um, flights or, or how many stairs I fell down. I don't even can't remember. You know, um, but um, I don't have no, I don't have that much pain. No headaches. Just dizzy. You know, I get, I just get dizzy. But the first couple days I was getting really dizzy. Now I'm only a little bit, but um, I'm getting better. How the elbow injury come into play? Trying to brace. Trying to brace the fall. I guess it was trying to brace. I can't even remember. But I guess I don't remember even getting, I just was in the doctor and they said, you need stitches in your elbow. And I was like, for what? And then they showed me the picture. There was a deep cut. Yeah. And then I got a, like a little scrape on my back too. But the scrape on my back is not as bad. Um, but uh, yeah, they just put stitches in my But it don't hurt. Good thing. It doesn't hurt. I think teams are good, you know. I th I, th I think uh, we were games that we won. You know, I thought we won on some games won on talent, you know, and uh, they probably just kind of caught up to us a little bit. So we'll wake up and um, we'll wake up. But we we have such a good team. Is I don't know if anybody ever been in a situation before on this roster, to be, and, uh, and um, it's early enough to catch it. But uh, we just shouldn't take what we have for granted. We're just so talented, so talented, and uh, and it's been so easy for us. We've been, you know, winning, winning 20, 30 points by the fourth quarter. It's just, you know, I've never been in a situation like that, you know. So we just gotta, I guess, continue to get up 30 and win by 30 and win by 20 and just have fun doing that. Before the game, Ron, you might wake up tomorrow. 
Well, he probably knows more than me because, you know, uh, with the doctors, the trainers, and with the head coach knowing everything, you know, uh, I'm coming there and I'm sure they'll put me on a schedule. So, you know, uh, he probably knows more than me right now, you know. Do you feel up to working out tomorrow? I feel up to, I want to work out now. I but clarify that for you guys. It's not going to be a basketball workout. It's going to be more, that. you know, on a treadmill. Yeah. So, I mean, just to get his heart rate up and see how he responds to that. Yeah. So is that going to happen tomorrow? Yes. Ron, was this? Inside your house or outside your house? It happened uh, outside. Okay. And yeah. Also, when you get these uh, examinations from the neurologist, can you describe what those examinations have been like? Mm, he said I'm getting better, you know, but it's just um, testing the reaction. Um, doing the one, two finger things and all that type of stuff. I don't know. And uh, make sure I remember words and. You know, the first day was bad. <clears throat> the morning I woke up, went to go see a neurologist. I really wasn't remembering much, and but it's getting better. He said. Ron, did the doctor say you were lucky because it could have been worse? No, we didn't talk about that. We didn't talk about that, but I'm assuming. I'm assuming. <laughs> you know, I'm assuming it could have been. Uh, I'm, just, I'm, I'm happy it's not worse. Yes. Huh? When do you get dizzy? Um, depends. If I lay down, wake up. And then I wake up and, uh, you know, if I'm um, leaning too much in one direction, you know, uh, sometimes it's better if I just sit down rather than lay down sometimes. Ron, did it uh, impact your appetite the last few days? You no, your I've been okay. That's a symptom, but I, that has not been one of mine. Um, I'm eating fine, you know, no headaches, which is surprising. I had a headache for about a couple minutes, but... No bad headaches, you know, mainly just a little bit woozy. Did he give you a CAT scan? And what did the CAT scan show yes, that was great. CAT scan and MRI came back, uh, you know, uh, negative. About how, about how long after, uh, after the game was, was the incident? Uh, immediately. I have a long takes me to get home. <laughs> okay, so you literally, you hadn't been inside your house at all. This was just coming downstairs. Yeah. For, um, the only time I remember going to my house is when... I went to, um, I didn't even know how I made it in the house, honestly. Like, I just went in there and I guess I was so out of it. <laughs> but, yeah. What's the last thing you remember? Um, the first thing I remember was just, wake, just standing up. Somehow I stood up. I don't know. But I don't remember be actually laying down. I just remember standing up. You know, I do remember the first hit though. The the first um, impact of that hit was I kind of remember the feel almost. I remember how it felt, and it kind of was you know, it's weird. Well, when you walk, um, my, my I got front stairs. Yeah, once you walk up, but the stairs had nothing to do with anything. It was really concrete. <laughs> No, yeah, up, yeah. Okay. Stairs. Did you slip backwards then, or? I can't, well, I really can't even remember really much about that. But this, it, I think I could have fell down a whole, a whole staircase and I'd be fine. But it was really just um, the concrete was the main problem. Have you been in touch with the teammates a lot during this uh, absence? Yes. Um, uh, it was the first people I called was them. That's the first time I, when I came back to my senses a little bit. Um, that's the first people I called because I didn't know where I was, and I called Kobe, and I text Kobe, and I text Lamar, and I kept, and I text Jordan and Shannon, and I just told them that I can't remember nothing, and I'm going to the hospital. You've acknowledged when, when you came here that you know everyone would be saying, "Oh, we're waiting for the wrong R test distraction, something's going to happen." When this happened, even being an accident, were you concerned at all that it could get turned into that at all, or is it just it's an accident you can't avoid it? I just I leave that for public opinion. I don't want to answer that. Ron, how many wrap it up here, guys. Do you have in your head and in your elbow? Um, forgot. Um, I haven't even really seen it, so I don't know. Yeah, but I think the doctors know. <laughs> Maybe the trainers know. I don't know. I just got them in the back of my head. Yeah. Just to confirm, have you ever had a concussion before? No. Mm, no, no, the first time.
So, Rod, you don't know if you slipped going down the stairs or you don't know if you went up and then fell backwards? Mm, I can't even remember half of the stuff that happened, so I'm just happy to be kind of okay. If you if you gotta go back to the videotape and <laughs> and, then, and then give him the tape so he can look at all the questions, he was late, I think. But yeah, Thanks, guys. yeah. Thanks, Ryan. yeah. Thanks, Ryan.